This is an online police awareness video. What the actress says is based on what's really happening every day. Hey, how are you doing? The usual targets for extortion or sextortion are young men. And once they've exposed themselves on their webcam, they're blackmailed. Your contacts have been downloaded. These are the words of one of the victims who've contacted police. The messages came up, pay £500 or this is going all over Facebook. I want £500. Then she started listing my friend's details. I was trembling throughout the whole thing, shaking and thinking, what's going to happen? This will ruin my life. I thought about suicide. The police say they know of at least four suicides linked to sextortion. One was 17-year-old Daniel Perry from Dunfermline. Another, also 17, was Ronan Hughes from County Tyrone. We've seen an enormous increase. We started to notice this emerging last year, and this year now we've had over 900 offences reported to the police, which is nearly triple what we had the year before. But what worries me is I suspect there are an awful lot of victims out there who are not reporting it to the police. Because you know what? You're being recorded. Understand? She works for me. The scam starts with a friend request on social media and sooner or later progresses to a webcam conversation. The blackmail is immediate. Wayne May hasn't been targeted but runs this website to help people who have. We get a lot of people come in to us and say if the video ever gets leaked I will kill myself. So we know it's something that people are considering when this happens to them. And I think we know from, uh, from the past that people have done this before. Police are targeting gangs in the Philippines, the Ivory Coast and Morocco. We know there are several organisations based overseas that are making millions of pounds out of this offence. They are very sophisticated in the use of technology, the use of money transfers. This is a big business. The advice is don't panic, don't pay, do go to the police. There are prosecutions and detectives believe it's the tip of an online iceberg. It's just business. Simon Viger, 5 News.